fourth installment in episode four of our handmade gifts. And I know I said I was going to do things that didn't require a pattern, but this, uh, this Dana pack from Lynn's Handmade is very easy and it would be a great gift. So I decided to go ahead and add this one. So it's the Dana pack from Lynn's Handmade. There's the pattern. You can go to Lynn, lynnshandmade.com and I'll link it in the description below. But here it is. I mean, there is not much to it. It does take two D-rings, a slide adjuster, uh, some swivel clasps, and some uh, a zipper, zipper pull, and some rivets. Now, rivets are optional, and actually, the um, swivel clasps are optional. You could just attach the the uh, webbing directly to the D-rings if you wanted to. So, depending on what you wanted to do and make it a little less expensive, you could do without the swivel clasps and you could do um, without the rivets. Pretty neat everything else. So that's it. It just has one zipper pocket here in the front. Now it's a really good size zipper pocket. It goes the whole front panel right there. And then on, there's nothing on the back. Now, if you wanted to and you wanted to be creative, you could add a zipper pocket on the back or a slip pocket or anything like that. So anyway, this is the episode four of Handmade Gifts from Jeannie's Designs. So thanks, thanks for watching. I'll link everything in the description below. And let's get started. Hi everyone, this is Barbie with Jeannie's Designs. And I'm getting ready to do a video on the Dana Pack by Lynn's Handmade. I've made this before, but it's been a while and I've not done a video tutorial, so we'll see this goes. My hardware, I'll start with my hardware. I'm using uh, some burgundy with gunmetal zipper tape. I have some gunmetal rivets. I have two swivel clasps. I have uh, two D-rings, one inch hardware, a uh, slide adjuster. And then um, I have one zipper pull, but I have another one out. I can't remember if there's two or one, honestly. So that's all the hardware. And then I'm going to be doing uh, one inch webbing. And so I have a piece of one inch webbing. And I'm gonna be doing, uh, let me just show you all my pieces. This is my back main panel, and it's this uh, nice soft vinyl. It's kind of a mm, cream silver type. And then I have um, one exterior and one lining, and the lining that I'm using is this burgundy, absolutely gorgeous, from Indo Love Creations. This vinyl, I think, is from my punk bordery. I've had it for years. It's just a long time. And this is my back liner piece. And then I have one front top panel in my vinyl. And then um, I think I'm missing a piece actually. I need to have one lining like this. So, And then two sign panels that are mirrored. So that's just out of my, um, my vinyl as well, but they are mirrored. So just keep that in mind. And I gotta go cut one more piece, I believe. And then I have this long piece for to cut for my D-rings. And that's it, except for one piece that I think I'm missing for my lining. I'll have to go do that. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to take the front main panel, which is for me is this. And then we're gonna take our zipper and lay it right side down. And I'm gonna baste mine in place. And actually, I'm gonna move this over so I can get my zipper off of there. If you've been following along, <clears throat> um, the hurricane completely really missed us. We got some wind and some rain and that's it. 
So I've been praying for the people up north. Uh, I don't know how they're doing, so. We didn't have uh, cable for a while. So I haven't been watching the news. I don't know if it's back up or not. We never, we, the, our electricity flickered, but that was it. It's a beautiful thing. All right, now I'm going to lay my lining on top of that. And sew my full seam allowance. And then we'll turn and top stitch. I've made this before, but it's been a while, and I did not do a video tutorial. But there are, Lynn has tutorials out there too, so. All right, let's turn that over and pull the wrong sides together and top stitch that. Next, um, top panel liner. Okay, so take your uh, top panel liner and lay it with the long side up. And I just centered everything, so that's centered. And then we're gonna take our um, top panel exterior and attach that. And you can base them in place if you prefer. I'm just going to do it all together here. So that's what you should have on the front, and that's what you should have on the back. And then sew those together. Get your full seam allowance. And then pull those up and top stitch there as well. I think the one I made a while ago, I sold, so I don't have it anymore. All right, let me get the okay. next step. So make sure that when you do you did this, that your liner is about a quarter inch shorter. And that's the way it should be. If it's not, she wants you to trim it. Okay, so next we're going to do all our little darts according to what she has in the pattern.
<clears throat> and then we'll nestle those together. And she does want you to trim each of those down. <clears throat> so just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's the inside and let's do the exterior. first patterns or not how it's written it makes me think it's one of her first because I think her subsequent patterns are I mean there's not much to this pattern really okay so we'll nestle those together just like that isn't that just cute 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 all right next all right so take your back liner piece that looks like this and lay it right sides together with the, the, the zipper pocket panel that you just created and clip those together. So it should match up with your liner piece. And we're gonna baste those together all the way around. <clears throat> and I'm kind of nestling these little darts just to reduce the bulk it's not a lot of bulk but I just think it's better make sure if you did what I did just make sure you're a uh, zipper pull is pulled in. Okay, so I'm just going to pull that in. Just like that. And then we'll baste all the way around. We're not going to do anything with this top. We're only going to baste this. And this came unthreaded for some reason. Okay, let me get my machine threaded. Basically, what you've done is create your little pocket there. Cute, 
cute, cute, cute. I'm gonna just go across my zipper teeth a couple times. So I can cut off my excess. I don't need to do that, but I always feel a little more secure. And then I'll, then I'll cut off my excess zipper. On both sides. So that's what you have. Alright, so we're going to put our um, sides on now. And because you cut them out mirrored, they are opposite of each other. So just put right sides together and clip those on. And you're going to do the seam allowance in the pattern on both sides. And then we'll flip those over and top stitch. Make sure your zipper pull is out of the way. Okay, so that's what you should have. And then top stitch on the flap, on the side panel. With your seam underneath it. And if there's a little wing there, let me show you, just like that, just clip that off. It's absolutely fine. Okay, so just like that, and we'll repeat that on this other side. And I'm gonna do it from this way. Now, because I did it that way, I don't have my full seam allowance, so I'm just going to do it one more time. Going this way so I can make sure I get it. Not a big deal. Okay, and then we'll flip that over. And top stitch. So that's what you should have. Now, if things aren't completely even on the top, she says to trim that up. Mine's pretty even, actually. Okay, isn't that going to be cute? I like the purple accent. I mean, the burgundy accent. So there's your pocket. All right, so next I need to do my D-ring connectors. And I just have... Um, I have a long piece. This is going to be way too much, but that's okay. Then I'm folding in two inch piece and I'm going to just stitch down each side and then I'll cut it.
And I'm just going to make these each. Two and a half. I don't think she really tells you in the pattern. And then we'll put our D rings on. So I have I have uh, some for another one. How about that? All right, these are my D rings. And then I'm just going to baste these together so they don't move around when I put them on. Ooh. Okay, let's get ready to put them on. And we're gonna put them pretty close to the edge. I know it feels weird. Um, and I'm basting them. They're pretty close to the edge, just like that. Oh, I think I was supposed to put them on this one, but. It doesn't matter. I'm not buying it anymore. I'll just make the same mistake twice over here. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to lay those right sides together. And clip all the way around. I'm just looking to make sure I'm out of pieces, which I am. This is such a simple pattern. I mean, this would actually, uh, even though we have to pay for the pattern, um, this is a great Christmas gift too, honestly. Who couldn't use a fanny pack for day trips or quick thing places to go? It, everybody could use a fanny pack. Especially a handmade one by somebody they know and care about. So when we get to sewing this, we're going to have to be careful because that D-ring is right there. Oh, you're going to want to open your zipper. Mm Check my seam allowance. Okay. Um. Okay. Looking for my seam allowance.
Okay. Okay. So, again, this is really important that you have space here because we're not going to include that in our stitching here. This is how we're turning the bag through this and our zipper. That's why you need to open your zipper. So we're turning the bag through here. So now let's just sew it together using um, the seam allowance in the pattern. And just make sure you have your D-ring out of the way. I went over my D ring a couple, uh, my D ring connector a couple times. Okay, now just make sure you're not closing your turning hole here. I am not going to clip those, and I don't think she wants you to either, but we are going to uh, cut our corners here. By our D-ring, because we want that to come out. Um, it's a challenge, actually. because we want that to be as straight as possible when we turn it. So just clip as good as you can without cutting your D-ring, number one. Your D-ring connector. Because we're gonna put some um, rivets in there. Okay, let's turn it, see how we did. And you know, this is one another one of those bags. You just want to be mindful. Oh, I did put my tag on, I forgot to mention that on the back. You want to be mindful of the fabric you use so that they're nice and pliable. And then you can pull your D ring out. And we'll put both corners here in a minute. Hmm. Cute. 
I wish I had the other one I made, but I sold it, so I don't have it anymore. poking tool and poke out those corners as good as you can. Get in behind your pocket. Being careful not to poke through like I just did. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Because we're gonna, I'm gonna have to top stitch that. Bummer! Yeah, just be very gentle. Doesn't need to be perfect there. That is good enough. All right. So poke out your little corners down here. <laughs> very cute. All right, let me go fix that. Hold on. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, I and she talks about top stitching. Um, I'm going to top stitch from here up, over, and closing my pocket over and down. And then we're going to add some rivets. I'm going to increase my stitch length here. And this will really depend on the thickness of your fabric. Go slow here. Make sure you're going to catch your pocket here. I really like the look of the top stitching. if you're using a contrasting thread. I'm going to go backwards here. Just a few stitches to get out of the way of my gluing. It's just too thick right there. Beautiful thing, you guys. Okay, so let's just make sure we caught it. Yep. So that closed our turning hole in there. That's it. Now I am going to add a couple rivets. And I'm just gonna eyeball where I want them and I cannot see that. So I'm gonna use a different color here. There and there, and there and there. Number one, that's why you left your uh, D-ring connector. You didn't trim it. You 
because you want to give it a little more stability here. And then we'll put these in and then all we have left to do is our strap. These are uh, nine millimeter, 10 millimeter, nine to 10, I think, um, rivets. Rivets look really good with this, actually, I think. Myself. All right, let me go press it. All right, so there's my rivets. So cute. All right, now I'm gonna just, uh, Burn the end here and put my uh, webbing up and over my slider, and I will stitch that in place. And this is the last piece of this webbing that I have, so I'm just using what I have. I don't know if I have enough. Or not, we'll see. Mm. You gotta burn these ends really good because they will fray if you don't. Okay. Yeah, decrease my stitch length to a three. Decrease my stitch length to a three. I will put two rows of stitches. Some people prefer to do a box. As you know, I hate doing boxes. I don't I can't do them very well. So I don't I choose not to do them. I don't like it, the look of them when they don't look good. Okay. And then burn any threads that you have. Okay, now let's add one of our uh, swivel clasps. These are one inch swivel clasps onto burn the other end really good and let's just make sure we don't have anything twisted so this is the wrong side where our slide adjuster is okay bring that up and over and through just like that so everything's right side up and we'll add our other swivel clasp and sew that on a little noisy Another two rows of stitches. Okay. 
One more. And I'm gonna go as close to that uh, swivel clasp as I can get. all there is to this pack. Very simple pattern. All done. All right, guys, this is all done. And it turned out really cute. There it is. The Dana Waste Pack from Lens Handmade. It's just got a little pocket in here. It's a, I, I shouldn't say little. I mean, your phone would fit in there, your purse pile would fit in there, your pocket pile would fit in there, and then it's got um, a handle. There's nothing else to it. Yeah, you could. You could put uh, another zipper pocket on the back if you wanted to. I would probably wear it as a crossbody. Just like this because then your zipper is going up and you can open it get in there close it back up that's all there is to it and it, it it's a quick so very quick so and easy um, you know a, a very beginner friendly pattern really so there it is that's it and choose your fabrics wisely you know because uh you do turn it from this inside pocket but look how big that is it's actually a pretty good size so that's the dana pack from lens handmade thanks for watching have a great afternoon bye-bye